Hi Taurus, this is what happened in the next 48 hours for April the 3rd through April the 4th, 2024. Universal Energies, show me what I need to see for the star sign of Taurus for April the 3rd through April the 4th, 2024. Universal Energies, show me what I need to see for the star sign of Taurus for April the 3rd through April the 4th, 2024. Universal Energies, show me what I need to see for the star sign of Taurus for April the 3rd through April the 4th, 2024. Show me. <clears throat> you guys, subscribe, like, comment, and share these videos. If this does not resonate with you, check your moon, rising, and Venus sign videos. I do not read reversals. If you're interested in a private reading, you can reach me at herimmortalmajesty at gmail.com. Thank you guys for supporting this channel with the links in the description. Taurus, these are your cards, honey. So, Taurus, you have the High Priestess, Scorpio, Cancer, or Pisces. This is She Who Knows. She Who Knows. This is the keeper of the hidden secrets, keeper of the hidden knowledge. The universe is calling for you to use your intuition. But you may know something that you're keeping to yourself. Now, the high priestess keeps silent, so it's a good chance that you guys aren't speaking to one another. So, Taurus, listen, you can tell me that you guys aren't speaking. You can tell me that you're using your intuition or you have a secret. Clarify the high priestess for Taurus. Clarify the high priestess for Taurus. Clarify the high priestess. Oh, flipping out. You, you flipping out. Clarify the high priestess. For Taurus, clarify the high priestess. For Taurus, clarify the high priestess. For Taurus, it is clarified with the Six of Cups. Scorpio, Cancer, or Pisces. This is someone from your past. Flashback from the past. Full fledged in the flesh. Someone from your past is back. Now, you can be reminiscing on someone from your past, remembering someone from your past, but something or someone from the past is being revisited. This is twin flame energy. This is reconciliation energy. So, Taurus, you can tell me that you're having feelings of nostalgia, wanting to reunite with this person from your past. You can tell me that someone from your past is in the picture, someone from their past is in the picture, something from the past is being brought back up here, or this involves children. Taurus, you can tell me that hmm, you're using your intuition on whether or not you should reunite with this person. You can tell me that you're using your intuition. You feel like someone from their past is in the picture. You can tell me that you're keeping a little secret that someone from your past is in the picture. You can tell me that you're using your intuition on what to do because something from the past is being brought back up here. You could also tell me that you're using your intuition on what to do concerning children. Remember that Empress fell out, even though that's you. Taurus, you have the Seven of Swords. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. This is someone lying, cheating, stealing, being manipulative, trying to get away with something. Someone being deceptive. Someone strategically devising a plan of action. Someone being sneaky, trying to escape, trying to get away with something. So Taurus, some type of lying, cheating, deceptiveness, sneakiness, or sneaking off. Clarify the Seven of Swords for Taurus. Clarify the Seven of Swords for Taurus. Clarify the Seven of Swords for Taurus. It is clarified with you, Taurus. The Hierophant. The Hierophant speaks to the leader of a religious organization, the leader of a metaphysical organization. This is a clergyman, a pastor, a preacher, a teacher, a coach, a mentor, a counselor, someone of wise counsel. This is the institution of higher learning. This is a corporate institution. This is the marriage card. But Taurus, this is you. Clarify the Hierophant for Taurus. Clarify the Hierophant. For Taurus. What about Taurus? What about Taurus? Clarify the Hierophant for Taurus. 
It is clarified with the Five of Wands. Aries, Leora Sag. This is conflict. This is fussing, fighting, disagreements, arguments, jealousy, competition, drama. But this can also speak to you being conflicted within about something. So Taurus, you can tell me that you're conflicted within about something or some type of conflict, disagreement, argument, drama has taken place here. Taurus, you can tell me that you're in some type of drama over some type of deception being found out here. Taurus, you're tell me, you could be telling me that you're conflicted within about whether or not to cheat. Maybe someone from your past is heavy on your mind here. You can tell me that you're conflicted within or whether or not to forgive this person because they were deceptive. Taurus, you can tell me that cheating took place and you guys has already established commitment and some type of drama taking place here. Hmm. Taurus, you have the Seven of Wands, Aries, Leo, or Sag. This is you being defensive. You're on the defense. But this can also speak to you being put in a position where you're having to defend yourself against rumors, gossip, and other people's opinions. And this can be you shunning someone, fighting someone off, setting boundaries with someone. But this is also an accusatory card. So you could be being accused of some type of rumors and gossip, and you're giving your defense or excuse here. So Taurus, you can tell me that you're standoff is shunning and setting boundaries, or you're trying to come in and explain, give your explanation, excuse, or defense here. Clarify the Seven of Wands for Taurus. Clarify the Seven of Wands for Taurus. Clarify the Seven of Wands for Taurus. It is clarified with the Chariot. Could be dealing with a cancer, but you're determined to move forward confidently, victoriously, successfully ahead. Now, this can speak to travel. This can speak to relocating cities, states, countries. This can speak to moving from one residence to another or simply moving forward and leaving things behind. But you're determined to move forward confidently. So Taurus could be dealing with a cancer, but you're wanting to make some type of move here. Clarify the chariot for Taurus. Clarify the chariot for Taurus. Clarify the chariot. For Taurus, it is clarified with the Ten of Cups, Scorpio, Cancer, or Pisces. This is emotional fulfillment. This is the Apex card. This is the happy family, happy life, happy wife, happy, stable, committed relationship, and happy home. This is what we're all striving for. So we're speaking of marriage, commitment, home, family, emotional fulfillment. So Taurus, someone very well may have commitment on the brain, but in tarot, tens are ending, so it could be an ending to you guys' commitment, marriage, living together situation, or family dynamics. Taurus, are you have, having to defend yourself concerning moving forward with commitment, going into a marriage, starting a family? You guys may have to sneak around and get into this commitment or something because we're, we're with child or something. Or Taurus, you're telling me that this commitment is ending and you're standoff of setting boundaries and shunning this person and just wanting to move on. There may have been some type of deception in you guys' already established commitment. And you may have felt like someone from their past is in the picture or something from the past is being brought back up here and you're using your intu intuition on what you should do, Taurus. Taurus, you have the Hierophant again. This is you, Taurus. Do we need to pray? What is going on here? Clarify the Hierophant for Taurus. Clarify the Hierophant for Taurus. What about Taurus? What about Taurus? Clarify the Hierophant for Taurus. It is clarified with the Queen of Wands. Aries, Leo, or Sag. This queen is a very fiery, feisty, bold, and confident energy. Someone who handles their business with a lot of passion, effort, and energy. Could be dealing with Aries, Leo, or Sagittarius, or someone with fire prominent in their charts. However, you could be taking on the energy of this Queen of Wands. Now, the Queen of Wands is someone who's highly motivated, a self-starter, someone who gets things done and makes things happen with a lot of passion. So you could be dealing with a fire sign, or you're wanting to take action here. Clarify the Queen of Wands for Taurus. Clarify the Queen of Wands for Taurus. Clarify the Queen of Wands 
for Taurus. It is clarified with the Eight of Pentacles. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. This is mastering your craft, perfecting your skills, trades, and abilities. This is you throwing yourself into your work. But this can also speak to you being willing to work on it or put in the work. So Taurus, this could all be work or business. You can tell me that you're willing to work on it, willing to put in the work. You can tell me that you're working on something, planning something, perfecting something here. Now, Taurus, you can tell me that, you know what, you're going to go ahead and work things out with this person, even though there's been some type of deception. You could be fighting off family members who, who say you shouldn't get back together because you're wanting to move forward and work things out with this person. Unless, Taurus, you're coming up with some type of plan here. This may be some type of strategic plan that you're conflicted with then about going forward with. Taurus, you have the two of cups. Scorpio, Cancer, or Pisces. This is, we see eye to eye, face to face. We are spiritually connected. We are one. We are meant to be. We are soulmates. Soulmates with a divine union, a divine connection. So Taurus, very well could be dealing with your soulmate here. But this can also be in an agreement. Clarify the two of cups for Taurus. Clarify the two of cups. For Taurus, clarify the two of cups. For Taurus, it is clarified with the page of cups. Scorpio, Cancer, or Pisces. This is news or a message about a deep emotional connection. These are love messages or news of love. But this could also be the news about what love produced because there's a fish in this cup. So love messages and an apology. Now, you could be receiving love messages and an apology. You could be sending out love messages and an apology. Very well could be that we found love messages and heard the news of someone sharing love or some news about what love produced because pages are children and there's a fish in this cup. Clarify the page of cups for Taurus. Clarify the page of cups for Taurus. Clarify the page of cups for Taurus. It is clarified with the lovers. Could be dealing with a Gemini. But the lover says, you know, I breathe you in. You breathe me in. We are so magnetically attracted to one another. We cannot get enough of one another. Babe, I need to make a choice. So Taurus, could be dealing with a Gemini. But you can tell me that you guys have this strong twin flame magnetic pull. You can tell me there's another other lover. But the lovers could also be a partnership with work or business. Clarify the lovers. But Taurus. Clarify the lovers for Taurus. Clarify the lovers. You wanted to pop out of my deck again for Taurus. It is clarified with the sun. Could be dealing with a Leo. But the sun symbolizes exuberance, illumination, happiness, joy, peace, love, abundance, growth and development and freedom. Could be dealing with a Leo, but Taurus, you can tell me that you're happy, you want to be happy, you're over the moon, or something was illuminated, something came to light. Clarify the sun for Taurus. Clarify the sun for Taurus. Clarify the sun for Taurus. It is clarified with the four of wands. Aries, Leo, or Sag. This is the structure, the foundation of a solid, stable, committed relationship. This is leveling up the relationship. This is the marriage ceremony card. Now, we could be speaking of a celebration, a birthday party, anniversary party, baby shower, the home. But this is the marriage ceremony card. So, Taurus, this can be about your foundation, your stability. This can be about commitment, marriage, leveling up. This can be a ceremony, celebration, or even property. I'm going to tell you, Taurus, this is strange. Either you're telling me that you're finding out about their deception, Taurus, and you're conflicted with them on whether or not you can forgive them, that you found these love messages and heard the news of them sharing love with another other lover, and you guys has already established commitment. And you're using your intuition about what you should do, whether or not you should just reunite and work things out with this person. 
But Taurus, when I look at this read, this makes me feel like you are strategically planning. To, to are you guys running off and getting married, Taurus? I'm just asking. I'm asking the car right here. The car is right here. Are you guys running off to get married? But is there an issue? Is somebody having an issue? You guys got to sneak and do this? Is it family members who have a problem? Or we got to keep it from the children? Or what? Or somebody's children? What is the problem here? Because they're questioning you, the family members or whoever, friends or their family or whatever. Someone's questioning you about this move. That's number two. Number three, Taurus. Is someone wanting to go into commitment because someone is now expecting children may be involved here? Hmm. I'm going to take a look at the situation ship for you, Taurus. You guys, thank you for supporting this channel with the links in the description. If you're interested in a private reading, you can reach me at herimmortalmajesty at gmail.com. Taurus, this is weird. It says meeting two or more people, discussions, planning. Meeting two or more people, discussions, planning. I know you're planning something, Taurus. What else for Taurus? What else? But Taurus, people, somebody has a problem with your next move. Denial, not facing truth, irrational reasoning. Denial, not facing truth, irrational reasoning. Maybe this is what they feel about you and this is the problem that they're trying to intervene or talk in your ear, get in your ear, change your mind or something, Taurus. But it's just like you, you got to make some type of strategic plans here, Taurus. You just got to up and sneak and do it. Uh, Taurus, this will happen in the next 48 hours for April the 3rd through April the 4th, 2024. You guys give me feedback, subscribe, like, comment, and share, and follow me on TikTok, Twitter, and Instagram, and I'll see you guys next week. Peace.